what is good you guys as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail man today we are doing the five things that i love about my 2016 mustang gt six speed manual now i ain't even gonna lie there's more than five things that i could say about this car that i love um so far just a week into ownership but i'm gonna go ahead and stick to the five i could have did th 10 things that i didn't like about this car but i did the five if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you guys go tap in video did great seemed like you guys enjoyed it so i went ahead and did the five things that i like about this car got security over there hopefully he don't give me no trouble coming in hot at number one is gonna have to be the headlights man i'm not even gonna lie i know you got if you guys saw the video the five things that i don't like i hated that there was that orange side marker so i went ahead and blacked that joint out if you haven't seen that video go ahead and tap in i'll probably put a card up or be at the end of the video make sure you guys go tap in um ever since i blacked them out bro they just look a thousand times meaner you know what i'm saying so i really love the headlights on these especially when they get like the flow series for the hash marks the rgb flow series for the hash marks and the demon eye makes it look so good however i would definitely love to black that out in the future and make it look even more mean but yeah man the headlights are gonna be number one of the five things i love now going into number two it's definitely gonna have to be that 5.0 man the powertrain of this beast the 5.0 liter coyote motor makes 435 horsepower stock i'm not sure about uh the torque numbers but that coyote motor paired with and i know a lot of people are gonna backlash against what i'm about to say but that coyote motor paired with that mt82 oh my god bro like you just can't beat it when you go from driving in first and second and feel the car pulling like there's no you know what i mean there's no limit and then you go all the way up to fourth and fifth and still feel that same way at the high rpms man it's crazy it's a crazy surreal feeling this joint definitely picks up fast as hell now number three is gonna have to be the the keyless entry man so basically you know what i'm saying you got the standard little three buttons right there um not buttons but it's like a finger detector so you put your finger there and you can lock the car or you can just grab the handle and unlock the car i love that let me go ahead and turn it off so you guys can see what i'm talking about so gonna go ahead and lock the car right now real quick okay you guys heard it it's locked now no key keys in my pocket literally in my pocket grab the door handle open like what dude and then and then and this kind of ties in to the to the next one but i'm gonna go ahead and say it now whenever you hit the lock the finger for the lock the indicator lights on the hood there's one in that grill and there's one in that grill the hood scoops i love that um but yeah man so the keyless entry bro it makes it so easy just to literally open the door and get in the car definitely save some time i really like that let's get a quick review of you know what i'm saying the three things and then we'll go ahead and keep going so starting off number one is going to be the headlights then number two is going to be the powertrain of this joint that coyote motor and the mt82 um, and then number three is gonna be the keyless entry, man. The system works phenomenally. I can literally do this all day. It works on, and then it's not like they cheaped out and only gave it to us on one side. You know what I'm saying? You also got it on this side. I love that. Look, listen. Y'all heard that? It's locked. Now it's unlocked. It's crazy, bro. It's I love that. <laughs> now, going into number four, and I know this is something very, very small, but you guys got to keep in mind, my car is a base model, and it is also stock. Well, kind of stock. Not 100% stock, but it's kind of stock. I love the hood, man. I really love the hood. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I keep it a buck. The hood is definitely long. It sticks out longer than, um, you know, Mamba's did. However, I just love how they gave you these little gills with the turn signals in there. So at night and sometimes during the day, 
I can see when I'm signaling left, I can see it on here. Um, I can't see the passenger just because I'm sitting in the driver's seat, but my girl, whenever she's in the passenger seat, she can see that. So that's pretty dope to me. It's a regular hood, but it's really not a regular hood, if that makes any sense. Just because, you know, you got the little gadgets and whatnot um, put inside the scoops. So yeah, man, I really, I really like that. And then it has all the body lines, so I really like the hood. I am debating if I should upgrade it or not, or if I should just keep the stock hood, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Now, number five, the last thing, um, and I ain't even gonna lie, this is something that's hella petty, and it low-key goes with the keyless entry, um, but it's gonna have to be the fact that there's a button to release the trunk on the outside of the car, bro. I love that. I really love that, and a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but coming from a fifth gen Camaro, there's no button on the exterior of the vehicle to open the trunk. It's literally just the key fob and the button on the inside of the car. So sitting here, hitting that all day to put my stuff in and out of the trunk is definitely a huge plus, but that's not the only thing. This is definitely a two part uh, thing for the, uh, the... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Final thing. Now the last part of this uh i'm out man i think it's tripping you know what i'm saying having the button to open the trunk the trunk space is ridiculous y'all like what trunk space is insane so i guess what i'm gonna go ahead and say is for the last one it's not just gonna be the button i guess you could say the trunk in general i just really like being able to open my trunk um, you know what I'm saying, with the key in my pocket, not having to push a button or nothing like that. And then the amount of space that's in the trunk, I could definitely go crazy um, with a trunk setup if I did bag the car. Not 100% sure if I'm going to go ahead and go that route with this one. You guys let me know down in the comment sections down below. A couple people have been asking me to bag it. I really don't think I'm going to bag this one just because of the hassle that bags gave me with Mamba. Um, but I definitely will have another bagged car here in the near future. Don't you worry about it. You dig what I'm saying? Now, with all that being said, let me go ahead and get you guys some quick B-roll. And I think I'm going to take some pictures, man, because I must say the stain is looking mighty good right now in this shade, man. So let's go ahead and hit that b -roll. There you guys have it, the five things that I love about my five minutes later. 16 Mustang GT. Definitely takes a while to get used to saying that instead of saying 2015 Camaro 2SS, you dig what I'm saying? But those are the five things that I love about my Mustang. I cannot lie. Like, if it didn't have those items, I probably would not have gotten the car. So I'm happy that it did, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then the, the additions that I put on there, the little minor tweaks, makes the car look really good. So with that being said, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what are the five things that you love about your Mustang or your Camaro or whatever car you own. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Also, you know, go to the video where I did the five things that I hate and let me know what you guys hate about your car, what you guys would do to change your car and what you would change on your your car but like i said man that's gonna wrap it up for this video if you want to enter for your chance to win some cash money all you have to do is go ahead and drop a name suggestion for the mustang down in the comment section down below of this video be subscribed to all three channels the couples channel my personal channel and my reaction channel um and then you also have to be following us on instagram the couples page my personal page and my girls page all on instagram make sure you guys are following um if i choose your name i'll definitely go ahead and make a video you know if you are the person who came up with that name then you will be getting some cash if you live in houston we can link up and i can give you the bread or if you're outside of houston out of state or whatever i can also zell or venmo you the bread either way it goes go ahead and drop your suggestions so you can enter for your chance to win some money man who 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 doesn't want free money all you got to do is subscribe and follow and then come up with a dope name 
I ain't even gonna lie. I got two that I'm thinking about right now. I got the Reaper, and then I think somebody else said Midnight or something like that. But the thing is, I'm not keeping the car all black on black. This is just the beginning phase. <laughs> With that being said, y'all, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.